In this lecture, I want to show you how to do normal distribution applications problems using your TI calculator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this on your TI-83 calculator as well as your TI-84 calculator. Now it's a little bit easier on your TI-84 calculator than it is on the TI-83 calculator, um, but after you do one or two examples, um, it makes it, it's actually pretty straightforward. All right, so what we're going to use here is there's this button on your calculator called DISTR. DISTR. This stands for the distribution um, button or distribution option on your calculator. And what you want to use is this thing called the normal CDF. Okay, the normal CDF. It's option number two under the distribution. Okay, and what this stands for is the normal cumulative density function. And what it does is this this option under distribution allows you to find the area underneath any normal curve between any two numbers okay and it's incredibly powerful and like in the previous exam previous lectures what we were doing was, was we were converting things to z-scores and then using the standard normal table well if you use your calculator you, you don't actually have to do that anymore and the normal CDF option here okay the normal CDF option requires the input of four things the lower value is kind of like the starting number that you're looking for the upper value is the ending number. Okay, so between two numbers, so what's the lower number, what's the upper number? And then the mean is the mean of the distribution, and the standard deviation is obviously just the standard deviation of the distribution. Okay, so I've got two examples for you picked out, or picked out for you. All right, and I'll go through this normal CDF so it'll make perfect sense to you. All right, so I've actually got the problems already laid out picture-wise here for us, but um, the first example I have to do about the lengths of human pregnancies. So at the time that I recorded this video, um, my wife and I, we had just had our first child. And so it just got me thinking about the lengths of human pregnancies. So it turns out the lengths of human pregnancies are approximately look normally distributed with a mean on average human pregnancies last 266 days, right? But there's variation in it. So the standard deviation of this uh, human pregnancies is 16 days. So what is the probability if you just take a randomly selected pregnancy, okay, that it lasts less than 260 days? All right, so that you'd start by defining a variable, right? So you're going to let the random variable x be the length of a randomly selected pregnancy. And what we want to do now is we want to find the probability that the length is less than 260 days. So the way you would do this first or before is you draw the normal curve. Okay, you'd center it at 266. I want to be less than 260, so I'd shade in the area to the left. Okay. So here's how you're going to do this on your calculator. I'll start with the TI-84. Alright, you're going to hit second function DISTR, and you're going to go to the normal CDF. Okay. And the first thing, let me let me actually restart this. I had some stuff plugged in there, sorry about that. So you're going to go second function distribution. And again, you're going to go to the normal CDF, normal CDF. And it's going to ask you, what do you want the lower value to be? So notice how this is a tail area to the left. So the area goes all the way to the left. Okay, so it's going to keep going and going and going. So for the lower value here, when it has a tail area to the left, you're going to put something ridiculous like point, like negative 99999. Then the upper, well, where do you stop at? You're stopping at 260. Then what was the mean? Well, we knew the problem said that on average human pregnancies, their length lasts 266 days and a standard deviation of 16 days. And you're just going to go down and hit paste and you're going to see this. So on here, unfortunately, when you hit second function DISTR and go down to normal CDF, it's just going to say normal CDF, and then you're going to have to input the stuff manually. Okay, so you're going to have to go, okay, well, what was the lower? Well, it's a tail area to the left, so I'm going to start with negative 99999, comma, I want to stop at 260, the upper, comma, the mean was 266, comma, and the standard deviation was 16. Now watch what happens, look. They both give you the same answer. And so that's the probability you would get if you were to do this by hand with the z-scores. Well, actually, you would get something pretty close to this. Your value, if you use the z-scores, would be a little different because of rounding. 
but our answer here would be 0 0.3538. So how I'm going to write this if I used the calculator, I'm going to write normal CDF, my lower, my upper, my mean, my standard deviation, and the probability was 0 0.3538. And that's it. That's the answer. Now let's try this one here. Okay. What's the probability that a randomly selected pregnancy lasts more? So here I want to find the probability that X is greater than, lasts more than 272 days. Well, it's going to be the flip of this, right? So when you, when you draw the normal curve, you're going to go to 272 and shade to the right. Okay. So it looks like the starting value or lower here is 272 and you're going to want to go to the right forever or keep going to the right. So you, when you go second function distribution, normal CDF here, your lower numbers you're starting by. So here you're going to go 272. And then for upper, instead of negative 999, you're going to put positive 99999. The mean stays the same. Standard deviation stays the same. So on the TI-83, you're going to have to go second function distribution, normal CDF, 272, comma, 9999, comma, 266, comma, 16, and then close the parentheses. And look, you get the same thing because it's the flip side of the problem. So it's 0 Just so we're clear, the reason why this is um, the same probability, okay? Notice how this was six days less than the mean, and this one is asking six days more than the mean, so they should be the same because the curves are symmetric. All right, now let's try this one. What is the probability a randomly selected pregnancy lasts between, so it's a probability that lasts between 260 and 280 days? Well, now you can see where this is going, right? Like the, the lower value is 260, the upper is 280. So you're going to do normal CDF. The lower is going to be 260. We're going to go to 280. The mean was 266, and the standard deviation was 16. So I'm just going to do this one on the TI-84. So normal CDF, 260, 280, mean, standard deviation. So if you had to type this by hand into the TI-83, you'd have to type this. And you'd get 0 0.4554 when I round it to four decimal places. So hopefully you see with the calculator, it's actually, it's actually gotten pretty straightforward. Well, maybe even a little bit easier than before. All right, let's do one more just so we, um, you know, I'm fully understand, and, I'll, and I won't do any of the drawings here. I'll just kind of quickly go through these, okay? So a packing plant fills bags with cement, okay? The weights of the bags of cement follow a normal distribution. So right off the bat, normal distribution, mean 50 kilograms and standard deviation of two kilograms in each bag, okay? Suppose a bag of cement is selected at random. So we're gonna let the random variable X be equal to the weight of a randomly selected bag of cement. And I want to find the probability that that bag weighs less than 49.5 kilograms. Well, this is, an, this is a less than, so you're going to do normal CDF. With less than, you're going to do negative 999. You're going to go to f up to 49.5. The mean is 50. And the standard deviation is 2. So second function distribution, normal CDF. So negative 99999, 49.5, 50, and then 2. And so if you have to type this in on the TI-83, right? So it's lower to the upper, the mean, and the standard deviation and you get 0 0.4013 when I round it. There you go. 
So now what is the probability that a bag weighs more than 53 kilograms? Well, because it's a greater than, you're going to start at 53. You're going to go to 9999. The mean is 50. Standard deviation is 2. And I'll do this on the TI-83 so you can see it. Second function, disk. Normal CDF. You're going to have to start at 53, comma, go to 99999, comma, 50, comma, 2. And you get 0 0.0668. Lastly, what's probably the bag weighs between 49 and 53 kilograms. So I want it to be between 49 and 53. So you're going to do normal CDF. The lower you're going to start at 49. I want to go to 53. The mean is 50. Standard deviation is 2. So second function DISTR, normal CDF, 49, 53. The mean is 50. Standard deviation is 2. So if you have to type this in the TI-83, you type it in like this, and you get 0 0.6247 when I round that. And I hope, I hope having seen me do this with the calculator, you know, you can realize how easy these problems can be with the use of technology in your TI calculator.